Greetings everyone, I'm Record II and welcome to the Asphodel Meadows data pack beginner tutorial for version 2.2 .2 in Minecraft 1.16. This video will be going over how to download the files, how to install the data pack and the resource pack, as well as how to begin the pack including the Compedium, Infernal Machine and the Asphodel Meadows Dimension Portal and finishing off with some tips for creative players and just players who use cheats. So. There will be timestamps in the description as hyperlinks for easy access, so you can skip to whatever segment of the video you wish to see. Now let's begin with the download. The only place to download this pack currently is the Planet Minecraft page. The link to which will obviously be in the description, so we need to just scroll past the screenshots and go right to the download buttons. Now you also have here a tutorial from Planet Minecraft itself on how to install data packs, so if you wish to read this instead of watching my video, you're welcome to do so. So, here we need to click on Download Data Pack as well as the required resource pack. Here it's kind of hidden, but you also need to download this. And after a little bit, it should actually just have these files. Feel free to close the windows, they're irrelevant. And all we need to do is click Show in Folder. As you can see, the files we just downloaded are right here. So let's get to installing the resource pack. There are three ways that I know of, of how to locate your resource packs folder. First being to look up app data here in the search bar and it'll take you to the uh, default position of your Minecraft files. Just say location. And here it is, the resource packs folder, but uh, many people including me are not using that folder, we are using our own directories for which you need to open the Minecraft launcher and go to installations. Use your installations, click on the folder icon and it'll bring up the game files for this installation. There it is, resource packs. But there's also a third way, that being in Minecraft itself. For that you need to go to options, resource packs, and there it is, open pack folder. This will open the folder itself. So once we have access to this folder, we're just going to simply drag this file into the resource packs folder. As you can see, it's very quick and simple. And there it is, it's in our folder. Then we go to Minecraft and we should just re-log into this resource packs menu and we're going to see this pack here somewhere. There it is. So there is a problem right now with compatibility. Un uh, unfortunately, it's a Minecraft problem, not a problem with the pack itself. Is that sometimes items underneath in different packs uh, will not work properly if uh, there's the same item replaced here in the Asphodel Meadows resources uh, in the custom model data. If you don't know what that is, it doesn't really matter, but basically uh, it is a problem with compatibility that's just a problem with Minecraft itself, unfortunately. It's uh, impossible to fix for the developers uh, themselves. But you can do it yourself by creating a separate pack or combining the packs, for which I'm going to make a video later, and in that case there'll be an end card, a link in the description, and a card right here. So once we have this, I recommend putting it over any other resource pack you might have and obviously on top of the default pack. And now all you need to do is click done and it might take a while but it should enable the Asphodel Metals resources. So there we go, our resource packs have reloaded and it should be good to go. Now I'm going to show you how to install the data packs. There are two ways right now of doing it, first with starting in uh, the world creation which will actually enable you to make a single biome world with an Asphodel Meadows biome, which I do not recommend doing because in my um, game it crashed, so I just don't recommend doing it, but there is an option if you want to try it. And there is one way of doing it after the world is already created. First I'm going to show you the world creation method. So, obviously create a new world, and we're going just to name it this. Good enough. And we're going to go to the data packs. Here, we have open pack folder which will make this um, temporary folder which will convert to a data packs folder once the world is generated. But there's also a different way of doing this. So same as with resource packs you can just drop uh, the archive right there. But you can also drop this file into the game itself right like this. As you can see it works. And same with resource packs later on top. Yada yada yada. Click done and that should be it. It's validating selected data packs, and since this pack is using world gen, it also give up your prompts when you re-enter the world on if you should proceed or make a backup. I just recommend proceeding because those are just experimental features, they're not um, 
going to break in this version. They work for now, so it's not a problem. As you can see, uh, it allows me to create a single biome version of the world with uh, the given Asphodel Metals biomes. But again, as I said, it crashed my game, so I don't recommend trying it. So, without other way, just create the new world. And click on proceed. So, our world was just generated, as you can see. And here we are. But I do recommend to slash reload no matter what uh, method you're typing. Of course, I didn't make this world have cheats on, so I'm just going to do this. And there we are. It should be good to go now. So you are set up to play with Asphodel Meadows. But now I'm also going to show you how to install the data pack uh, after the world has already been created. So for that you need to just quit the world obviously. And uh, I'm going to go to single player and I'm going to click on the world. There's an edit uh, button which will also bring up a button that says open world folder right here and I will also have the data packs folder inside as you can see as well as already in it but same as with resource packs just drag the file right into it and that's how you install it after the world has already been generated so we don't need to do this obviously but that's it for the installation now I'm going to show you how to begin in this data pack so the first thing you want to do is make the compendium for which there is a crafting recipe that I think I unlocked upon creating the world, that, which is part of the data pack. As you can see, it gave me a new recipe for the Infernal Machine. Those are two very important com uh, components to starting in the pack. So, you will going to make these, and I'm just going to show you how to do that, of course. Well, it shouldn't be too different from the regular uh, recipe book stuff, but I'll show you anyway. Just because the Compedium is a very important item. As you can see, you make it like this, and uh, it also bring up an advancement tab. So these advancements are basically your uh, guide to the Asphodel Meadows. As you can see, it's a very big tab, it's expensive, has tons and tons and tons, tons of tasks, goals, challenges to complete. This is your ultimate guidebook through the progress in this pack. But so is this compendium here. It has the getting started section which makes me irrelevant. It also has uh, the items, all the pages for the items. It has a tutorial for the Infernal Machine, the Matos Dimension. It'll give you everything you need to know. Basically, it makes me useless. So what you need to do is um, create the Infernal Machine, of course, by following the recipe. And I'm going to do that really quick just to demonstrate. So after that's done, uh, this will be basically your crafter. You're going to craft most of your items here and uh, abandon the crafting table as it's not useful for Asphodel Meadows. So later, let me just make this really quick. As you can see, I was giving the Infernal Machine and there it is. This is your crafter for this pack. Now, of course, I also want to show you how to create the Asphodel Meadows Dimension Portal, which is super easy. Just follow the same procedures as you do with a regular nether portal, just change the type of obsidian you're using. And uh, it should work without corners as well, as far as I know. Let me try. As you can see, it definitely did. So there is your portal. Uh, use your compendium, by the way. Uh, there are crafting recipes in here, and you will be able to bookmark the recipe, as you can see here. And you can see it here. When you craft something, it will show you a nice guide on how to do that. So these are the things you need to do to get started in the pack. Everything else should be uh, easy to explain. As you can see, already some stuff has opened up here for me to explore. So that's how you start in the Asphalt Meadows. Now I'm going to show you some tips for people who play with cheats. There is a way to get into the dimension without making this portal. Every time building the portal, it's kind of, it's kind of not the best thing. So there's a command that also works for other custom dimensions for Minecraft 1.16. Execute in and we're going to pick Asphodel Meadows, run tp at s, which means u, and we're going to just uh, put three tildos in there, which just means the same location as I am right now, just in a different dimension. As you can see, works perfectly fine, now we are in the Asphodel Meadows. There's also another thing that's kind of useful, if you want to get all the items from the Asphodel Meadows, all you need to do is run a simple loot command, 
loot give at s loot asphodel and as you can see every possible item should be on this list those are all the tips i have for you thank you guys for watching this video and that's all i really have to say i hope this tutorial was useful make sure to uh give me feedback on this and yeah i hope you guys enjoy asphodel meadows and as always stay